Today we will learn about linear symmetry and rotational symmetry. Look at this figure. Can you tell whether this shape is symmetric or not? Think, think. Let us tell. If we draw a vertical line from the center of this shape, then this line divides the shape into two equal parts that are mirror reflections of each other. That is, they match each other very accurately. Thus, when a line can be obtained by folding the figure in two equal parts, such that two parts become symmetrical, then the shape has linear symmetry. Therefore, this shape has linear symmetry. That is, this shape is symmetric. Similarly, we can also draw a horizontal line in this shape, which divides it into two equal parts which are mirror reflections of each other. We can say that it is also a symmetric line. Apart from these two lines, there is no other line that shows linear symmetry in the figure. Therefore, we can say that this figure has two symmetric lines. In rotational symmetry, the shape of the figure is the same before the rotation and after the rotation. Now think, does this figure also have rotational symmetry? Think, think. We will show a point on this figure to check for rotational symmetry. Keep in mind that this point is not part of the shape. If this shape is rotated around its center, we can see that at a rotation of 180 degree, the shape exactly matches the initial shape. In the same way, we also see that this shape at a rotation of 360 degree again meets the initial shape. Therefore, we can say that this figure has rotational symmetry. Since the shape in a whole circle is twice the same, as the initial shape, we can say that the figure has rotational symmetry of order 2. Thus, this figure has both linear symmetry and rotational symmetry. Now look at this shape and tell whether it has linear symmetry and rotational symmetry or not. In this shape, we cannot draw a symmetrical line in any way. So that we get two parts of the shape which are mirror reflections of each other. In this way, we can say that the figure does not have linear symmetry. Does it have rotational symmetry? Think, think. Absolutely right. A dot will appear on this figure. Keep in mind that this point is not part of the shape. We see that at 180 degree rotation and 360 degree rotation, the shape corresponds to the initial shape. Since the shape on 360 degree rotation corresponds to the initial shape twice, we can say that the figure has rotational symmetry of sequence 2. Now let's talk about this shape. It is a circle. There are infinitely many points on the circle. If we draw any line from the center of the circle, then that line divides the circle into two equal parts which are mirror reflections of each other. In this way, the circle has linear symmetry. An infinitely many lines can be drawn from the center of the circle. 
So we can say that the circle has infinitely many symmetrical lines. Similarly, we will show a point on the circle to check for rotational symmetry. Keeping in mind that this point is not part of the shape. Now we can get the figure exactly as it was from the initial shape by rotating the circle through any angles like 0 0.1 degree, 0 0.5 degree, 1 degree, 10 degree, 80 degree. So we can say that the circle has infinite order of rotational symmetry. Now you must try yourself. How many symmetrical lines are there in a hexagon and what is the order of its rotational symmetry? So today we learned about linear symmetry and rotational symmetry. We will get to know it better by some examples in the next video.